This is the eye limb, but again, not that interesting. But right opposite that valve is this rather large lesion. Space. I mean, we have the uh, eye snare here, which I would like to show you. Maybe you saw it already this morning. This is a combination of a snare and a needle. So if we take uh, the needle out first, let me... If you show full screen the... the um, yep, perfect. So this is the needle that already came out, and this is the, actually the hex eye snare. So there's a hexagonal uh, form snare coming out now. So it's a combination. You don't use them at the same time, of course, but it does save you time going in and out with both instruments. OK, let's close snare and needle, and then we'll... So I have one question, Paul. One thing that uh, we found useful with this device is because you can do the repeated injections very quickly, you don't have to exchange your catheter, there seems to be a little bit less benefit of the long-acting agents like the hyaluronate or, or hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose or the other agents yep. we, we've talked about. Um, and so it, it, it actually brings us back to a question, of, is saline really just as good as these bulking agents if, if you take away Pardon? the advantages of the long lifting time? Pardon? Pardon? Yeah, I think in this case, there's Pardon? no need to use something else. I'd like to actually like to play around a little bit with it, as you can see. So it's really on that fold, and I think what I would normally do is try to inject uh, distally first, because then actually it will bring it forward, and then we'll, uh, we'll inject a second time in front, and then we can take it off, I guess. So we'll have the needle out, please. <coughs> I selected the uh, saline with a little bit of blue dye and some adrenaline. Okay, the needle is out, as you can see. I'm just slowly pulling back. And like Mike said, we'll start injecting outside the... Um, um, so we'll start injecting here before I push it in. Inject. Wait a moment. Just saline with the, we use the blue dye as well. I tend to not use epinephrine for a couple of reasons, but okay, I find it easier on the completely flat lesions to, uh, to get the snare to seat down on the tissue, on the, on the, the type 2B lesions in particular, or often the remnants okay, of the, 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 the flat remnants of the 2A lesions. It's sometimes very hard to get the snare to seat down on that flat tissue, and I, I find the saline a little bit easier uh, uh, to, uh, yeah. to use. It's softer. You get a kind of a soft, like a feather pillow instead of a, a yeah. foam pillow. Um, yeah, I think we, we also, we never actually went to the broken agents. I think this one lifts very nicely. Yeah, that's very uh, beautiful injection. Probably just a little bit more and then we're done. And then, yeah, a little bit more. The very other nice. teaching okay. point Stop. I would make is when you get your Even. first injection started, your next injection, you should take advantage of the fact that you've already split the submucosal layer. And, and your next injection should go just at the edge of your last one, where the submucosal layer is already split. You don't need to go in a completely new area and reestablish that tissue plan. Yeah, but I think yeah. we're actually in a nice position. Can you close slowly? This so is a little bit stiffer snare, um, yep, so you on. can push it down into that pillow a little bit more aggressively than a standard Fails. snare. Uh, just 10 seconds to show you the end result. We removed uh, three of the other small polyps. One over here, one over there, and one here somewhere. And then we also took off that little piece over here. And as you can see, this is about, yeah, probably a three-centimeter uh, broad-based 1S polyp, which I think in Emberdorf...